Hello and welcome everybody to the messenger. This is a new stream that we are doing, stream game that we are doing. Uh, unfortunately, there is no, it doesn't seem to be any music in the main menu, so it's, it's a little bit awkward. But anyway, uh, this is a platformer. I think it's mostly linear, but it has some Metroidvania elements in it. That's what I read. Uh, I tried to not spoil myself, obviously, so my knowledge is quite limited. So we'll hopefully get surprised. And uh, in this game, we are playing as a ninja. At least that's what I got from the intro. Anyway, let's jump into a new game. Uh, use a new slot. And can I just type this with a keyboard? Hopefully, no, I can't. Well, this is some vintage old school NES style. Da, da, da. This is, uh, well, let's just leave it like that. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. So we get a nice intro cutscene. I love the art style already. Another day and still no sign of this so-called western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that and nothing's happen happened in centuries, so why are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Um, well, let's do a little bit of an, uh, a different voice for him. Um, I don't know how that will sound, but we'll, we'll give this a try. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great, another lecture. I guess I should at least show up this time. Okay, so now I can move, I can jump, I can do some slash, we can do some slashes in the air, I can slash upwards. And... There's not much else. We can crouch. All the other buttons don't really seem to do anything. We have ability cloud step. Scoring a hit in the air lets you jump again. Okay. So there is some kind of a double jump mechanic in this game apparently. Well, what do we have here? A training dummy. Which doesn't... It's not destroyable. Now. Let's start with the training. Right on time to try the new course. Show us your cloud step technique. Jump, hit, jump. Easy enough. Okay, now we do this three times. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't seem to really matter, but anyway. Well, look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? Ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this hideout anyway. I see that the importance of, your, of our ancestors' wisdom is lost on you. But let me assure you that the threat of the demon army is very real and they sh and should they. Well, they probably are going to do whatever they are going to do and we cannot stop it, at least not for now. They have returned! This is all wrong. The Western hero was supposed to save us. Watch out. Okay. Well, we should not get hit by fireballs then. So, okay, we can still talk with him. 
Don't go, you you are not ready. Does he say anything else? No. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have really have a chance, uh, a, a choice. Burn it all. Bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? Are you really all they've got? Pathetic, prepare to die. That sound impossible. What the hell is going on now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Luck is with you this day, Barmazel. Um, what are we doing for this one? Um, do -do 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 -do. oh, move it out a little bit like this. Keep an eye on this warp. Count your blessings, Ninja. My minions will make short work of you in the autumn hills. Okay, now. Are you? The Western hero? Something like that? To be honest, I got here way too late. As you look like the most capable around here, I have a task of the utmost importance for you. Take this troll and carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacial Peaks Summit, where the three sages will be waiting for you. But who are you, and why is this scroll important? You'll find the answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. The Shroud of Night will be your only protection to make it to the Autumn Hills. Godspeed, messenger. Okay, so yeah, basically we are we are playing a messenger that has to deliver this scroll. You have been chosen to be the messenger, tasked with carrying the scroll across the, your cursed world. Okay, that's... Uh, can we read the scroll? No, I. it doesn't seem like we can read the scroll. Well, anyway, let's continue. See what this game has to offer. So far, so good. Achievement unlocked. Enter the ninja. Okay, so this is the first level, the Autumn Hills. Interesting. The music is also very retro. Like... Can I touch the ground or is, it, or is that... I can't touch the ground, so there is no real reason to be, like, super afraid. Okay, three hits and that guy is dead. Like, this is vintage NES stuff. As far as I can tell. I don't know whether it provides me anything by, uh, killing enemies. But we'll... we'll do it anyway. Like, we'll just try and kill him. I have five lives at the moment. Don't know what happens when we die. That's something that we may should try and figure out. Well, there's probably no permadeath, but I mean, who knows? And we get these tears. Maybe we can get additional health with these tears. But not seen the tutorial on that. Oh, 
One more life, and then we are done. Unless I can figure out a way to recover my health. So this is... Okay, this seems to be a checkpoint. What the hell? What is what is going on here? So this is some kind of a merchant. Um... Okay, um, I guess we'll do something like this. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you the cabinet is off limits. Believe me, you're not ready for what's in there. Well, okay then. You think you can just bark into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? There is no skeleton in there, I promise! Hey, don't touch! It's empty anyway. Don't make me lock it. Why don't you put that curiosity to good use in the outside world and maybe, I don't know, save humanity? If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. I'm warning you, it's boring. It's philosophical. I will even remove your ability to skip what I'm saying. This is your last warning. This is so funny. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, we, I mean, we we started this thing now, so um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna hear his uh, his little story, what he wants to tell us. So we'll continue. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're going to touch that again. You ask for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know, it gets pretty lonely out here, so I have a lot of time to think. The one thing that keeps bugging me in this concept of happiness, everyone seems to be looking for it. Some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked the code. You see, everyone has goals, so... You think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or when I achieve that, I feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. I bet this game was uh, published by Devolver Digital, if, uh, <laughs> if he's saying this. <laughs> Maybe this is just like a, 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 some kind of a marketing speech for, for, other, for other titles of theirs. We'll see how this continues. From my perspective, sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They prefer happiness into the future. No, they prefer happiness into the future to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state. It's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. So that every day you're just stoked to live your own life. And you don't need to defer any joys. Because you optimize the present moment. Now, I don't know whether what that was cheesy or insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life. And that implies that you'd stop trying to open my cabinet, so I really hope I bored you to death. Well, he asked for it, so we'll open the cabinet again. You should see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. Um, so, what, what, what are we doing for, for this guy? Um, 
Uh, yeah, I heard that. Okay, now. <laughs> uh, Let's click the cabinet once more. Please don't touch the cabinet. I already told you the cabinet is off limits. Okay, so now he seems to repeat himself. Now let's just properly talk to him and see what he's all about. I mean, we've wasted enough time, but I, it, it was funny. I hope you enjoyed that too. And we actually got healed, I guess, by two health when we entered here. Ah, uh, the messenger. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. It doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyway, so I'm this mystic character who will be mentoring and supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. All you need to do is take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where three stages from my order will be waiting for you. Your order? Slow down. That was way too much text for one dialogue box. Look, just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab all these time shards you see lying around. I can use them to upgrade your abilities and artifacts. I assume those are <clears throat> the drops we have in the upper right corner. First one is on the house. Enjoy. You got the climbing claws. Press against the walls while airborne to stick to them. Okay, cool. Need anything? Um, well, let's see what we can upgrade. So, energy shuriken costs 50, so we can't get that. Shuriken of the ninja. Check attack enemy projectiles, that would be useful. Uh, what is this? Karuta plates, HP plus one. Okay. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe that restores one hit point. I think the healing stuff will be become useful. Path of Resilience, Defense up. Also, I mean, like both of these are sound quite useful, but I think we are going to take this one first. So look, we've upgraded this one. And uh, now let's have a chat with him. What do you want to chat about? Let's chat about the climbing claws. So, climbing claws. Oh yeah, you can press against walls to cling on to them and climb your, at your leisure. Makes sense. Uh, the way everything looks, it just felt like I should be able to do that. Yes, that's why John Gaiden invented them decades ago. Is, uh, is that a reference to Ninja Gaiden? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't be out of the out of the ordinary to like have references. <laughs> Maybe this game is like is the whole story is like a super trolling kind of uh, thing. Who's John Gaiden? Never mind. It's just an acknowledgement I needed to get out of the way. I don't get it. Some will. What do you want to chat about? So, what is this place? Seriously, don't. Where are we? Curious, are we? In time, you will come to realize that the question is not where, but when. That's it? Listen. Oh. Listen, I know you're still new to this. But you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information so early in your adventure. Wouldn't you rather go back into the action anyway? Just buy a health upgrade or something and be on your way. Kids these days. Okay, so <laughs> I guess we'll ask him if he has any stories to share. This is super funny, like, <laughs> I really lo love the... Uh, the characters in this game so far. Do <laughs> you have any stories to share? Of course! Here's one for you. There was once a servant who didn't know how to read. 
The day came where his master asked him to read something for her. To which she replied, I'm sorry my lady, I can't read. That reply immediately got him fired. So he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news. When he couldn't find any, he reckoned he probably wasn't the only one to wish there was a tea house in his small town. So he opened up his own. He really picked up, so he built many more and became rich in the process. One day his accountant asked him to review a piece of document, to which he replied he didn't know how to read. The accountant who couldn't believe his ears said, if you became a millionaire without even knowing how to read, just imagine where you would be if you could read. Oh, I know exactly where I could be, the rich man replied. I would be a servant. The end. What? I don't see how this applies to my adventure. It doesn't. Who asked for a, who asked for a story? More like the long version of When Life Gives You Lemons. Alright, since you don't seem to appreciate me sharing some clever material for your next party, I suggest you move along. What do you want to chat about? Okay, so I guess we are done with this guy. <laughs> he's he's a, a cool dude. We'll definitely come back to him uh, to get more upgrades. Now, we can just climb up here. Nice. Uh, is this like a secret thing? I mean, what what the hell is this? There is no entrance in there? That's like pretty smells fishy to me. Maybe we can enter it uh, somewhere here? No. It doesn't seem like we can enter it. Anyway. Let's move on. We've quote unquote wasted quite a bit of time already. I can't kill this thing. So let's just avoid them as good as we can. Oh, he shoots twice. Achievement unlock. How ninja is that? Well, I don't know how. Shit. No. Oh, that was lucky. We are on our last health. Maybe we can do some more progress. We'll see. So. <laughs> another one of these fire spitters. So they always seem to spit two fireballs and then they take a bit of a break. And maybe... Can I... Okay, I can kill the projectiles now. Well, that's excellent. Let him spit some more fire. And now we are killing him. And we are full health again, so that's excellent. So we indeed can find more health. This is super cool. Like, I love the music. I love the aesthetics. And the humor so far in this game is excellent as well. Really enjoying this. We'll see how difficult it is. I heard it was it's it's a rather it's an easier game, so that was one of the reasons why I well pretty much wanted it to play it, to stream it before I start streaming the more difficult games. Just to get a bit of get a bit used to it. Oh no. Did he respawn? Yeah, they respawn. So if I move out of the screen for a bit, they start to respawn. Well, good to know, I guess. Yeah. So I gotta be really careful when I move out of the screens. So can we open up saving? Abilities, Strike of the Ninja, Cloud Step. Climbing claws. Is there no portal? So we can go back to the ghosty dude and get our next upgrade? Apparently not. It was just a normal checkpoint. 
Hey Zell, welcome to the stream. Yes, it is the messenger. Oh, the game is called the messenger. Did I did I uh, write something wrong there? Oh, we can dive. Interesting. And ah, oh, the music is is changing as well when I dive. That's that's really cool. I like that. That's a neat little idea. Do I want to go down here? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so this game is, is called The Messenger. It's basically a 2D platformer. It's supposed to have some kind of Metroidvania elements as well, but so far it's been quite linear and I can't get back up here. And we are playing a ninja of some sort. We have a scroll that we have to carry to the top of the mountain. That's basically our task. And... Uh, now I'm trying to basically find a path. Oh! So he can just throw these things through the... Through everything. Got a little health upgrade. Didn't... Don't know what that blue stuff was. I was confusing this for the witness, I guess. I have never played the witness. So, uh, is this... Is the witness also a 2D platformer? 